Hello Capricorn and welcome to your bonus tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me and clicking on the video. I hope you're doing well Capricorn. I'm very excited. As most of you know, Capricorn readings are very special to me. So yeah, let's dive in. I invite you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Capricorn, this helps me more than you know. Okay. What is the general energy for Capricorn? The bonus readings are timeless. So whenever you hear the messages, I believe they were supposed to find you. Is there another card for Capricorn as general energy? Okay, just one card for you guys. And it's the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that's amazing. So I always love seeing the Aces because I know there is an exchange of energy happening. The Aces feel like a gift. We can be telling things like, wow, this feels like a blessing. I knew this was supposed to happen for me. There's this very comfortable energy, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. But anytime you see the symbol of the hand, remember that it's about an exchange. So it's not just luck. It's not just that you are luckier than another person. Really, it's because you did the work. There was, again, some type of exchange here. You put in the time, the effort, the energy. You've been patient about something. And now... With the Ace of Pentacles, it seems like there could be some type of new offer, new beginning. It could be a new energy, feeling much more comfortable with what is happening, where you are in your journey. Of course, I'm going to have to clarify because this could be about so many things. I like it. It feels good to see this card coming up for you guys. Capricorn, what is this Ace of Pentacles about? You are guided towards something that is meant for you, was meant to find you. And I'm sensing that it might have took a while for you to get to that place. Hmm. Yeah, page of pentacles, page of cups, and the three of swords. You had to go through so much to finally get to that place of being a little bit more comfortable with yourself a little bit uh, nicer to yourself also. So very interesting. We have the page of cups and the page of wands. A page of cups, sorry, and the page of pentacles here. The seeds you planted are now flourishing. And when I said that it took a while for you to get where you're getting, uh, well, a while could be your whole life, literally. It feels like you could be finding some type of purpose here. And... I love that you could be inspired by pain from the past. It could also be with the Three of Swords, a conversation that changes everything for you. It could inspire you. It could give you confidence. It could help you heal something properly. And I'm talking old wounds. It's not a coincidence that there's two page here with the Three of Swords. The wounds I'm talking about are very old. And you could have put a Band-Aid on an infected womb and just go on with your life because maybe you didn't have the tool, maybe you didn't have the support to heal properly, but now something was well taken care of. And I don't know what it is. Of course, it's going to be different for each and every one of you, but what I'm sensing here is that you addressed the problem from its root or that could be something that's going to happen for you um, very very soon after watching this reading you could be in the process of figuring out something about your childhood figuring out something about again your roots your ancestors how you were brought up how you were raised whatever that means for you um addressing the problem to the source and healing properly and that is no joke 
And again, it's not just a gift here with the Ace of Pentacles. It comes from you, your willingness to do the work, to heal, to address problems and try your best, really. And that's what you did here. I feel like you did the best that you could with what you had. And now something is changing. Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Judgment Guard. So there's this realization, Capricorn, that I'm sure you guys probably had a while back, but now it's coming up to the surface, this realization of, wow, every heartbreak, every time I was hurt or every time something did not happen the way I wanted to, it all led me to where I am today. Am I saying that everything that was, you know, a trauma or painful was meant to be? No, not really. I believe personally that there's a lot of things that aren't meant to be. I don't believe that horrific things are necessarily meant to be. But when you connect the dots, it's like the map of your life. Everything led you to where you're going now, which it seems like you could be changing direction. What you planned what you thought your future would be like, it seems like there's something even better that's waiting for you. And just you believing in that, keeping hope in your heart for this to happen is actually such a big act of, of self-love. Um, because Capricorn, you know, I know you guys, I have I have a lot of Capricorn also in my chart, which I, I just found out recently um but there's this i need to see it to believe it and in your relationship also you're not just gonna take someone back that hurt you time and time again it's like no i, I want to see change you need to prove it to me you need to show me with actions that you change and this is something that's happening here not only you're seeing the seeds that you planted expand, but you're really noticing change around you. It could be change in your body, change in your mind, but also there's a change with people around you. I don't know what it means. And with the two of pentacles, there could be the opportunity to travel, to relocate, or even just giving yourself the opportunity to dream and find, fantasize about that. I was born for bigger things. I was born for more than what the universe uh, gave me so far. So I am creating my own luck. I am stepping in my power. I am cultivating the seeds that I planted. I am healing and doing the work. And it feels like... Again, with you focusing on the right energy, the universe is, is just giving back now. And this is long overdue. Because I'm sensing that there could be a lot of you that felt like, why am I always trying to do the right thing? But the universe is not showing any appreciation, really. It seems like things are very unfair. There could have been a lot of... A lot of unfair situation, especially in love or in your relationship. People that you trusted, people that you cared about. What I'm getting is that they did not even bother to tell you the truth. Again, with the Three of Swords as first energy, Capricorn, I'm sensing that the wounds that were simply ignored or again putting kind of a band-aid on something that is infected something that needs healing now you are healing properly and i don't know why i'm sensing this but it feels like someone else's bad luck unfortunately for them is kind of good for you and i don't know why it feels like the scales are readjusting i don't know if we're going to see the justice card show up in this reading but there's something important about that we have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck something is readjusting balance is restored peace is restored and the wounds that were almost impossible to heal 
are now becoming more comfortable to deal with, easier to deal with. We have the Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Page of Wands. You have three page here. So I just want to address that for anyone who has kids, or if it's not uh, your kids, people that you took care of, that you consider like children, there could be something important here healing this connection, having important conversation, addressing something, being able to move on. It does not have to be about your kids, but there's definitely other people here. It's not just about you. And the reading is about you. You know, King of Pentacles is, is center here. This is, of course, all about you. But there's a lot of other people, energy that I'm sensing here. Things that were unfair, situation um, and relationship that you have been kind of scared to deal with. Maybe it's not scared, but on the defensive a little bit. I'm going to get hurt again. Why would I bother talking to this person? They don't understand me. They don't get where I come from. They don't understand my values, my point of view, and I don't think they're willing to listen. I feel like in the past, there was definitely this energy of someone not listening to you. You tried to speak your truth. You tried to step into your power. But when the other person is not ready or open to receive, uh, it can be very frustrating. And I think that you gave up at one point. And a Capricorn that gives up on something is, it's hard to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow for you because you don't give up. You are the mountain goat of the Zodiac Capricorn. You don't give up. But when there are situations that are out of your control, where you've been giving, giving, you know, doing your best, and the other person just does not meet you, on your level, they don't listen, they are not able or willing to receive what you have to give and what you have to offer, I think that you gave up on something. And for some reason, that felt very uncomfortable for you because, again, you don't give up. And that's a lot of pressure, just me to say that. Like Capricorn, they don't give up. I know it's a lot of pressure to be the strong one, to be, you know, the determined one. But it's also a blessing. And there is something important here about you not giving up. Even if this situation is painful and uncomfortable. This is very, very vague and also very specific for some reason. I'm excited to, to clarify because I need to know more. It feels like someone is finally respecting your own timing, finally respecting you by listening, showing up. I feel that someone is going to finally show up for you, but it's going to be hard for you to trust them because time and time again, they did the same thing. And again, I understand why you, you would want to give up on someone that just cannot listen to you. Someone who stayed uh, in a very immature energy. Someone who never kind of graduated energetically. They stayed in the same place all their lives. And anytime someone tried to help them, uh, they were on the defensive. Maybe they said, stop patronizing me. Stop doing this and that. Stop trying to control me. Um, when you did all of this from a place of love. And again, this could be a very old wound that's coming up to the surface. But peace is restored. This is what I'm getting. So either you clear the air or this person is going to apologize. That could be it. I think it's bigger than that. I think it's also you letting go, accepting and it could feel good to have someone apologizing, to have someone uh, clearing the air, reaching out. I'm going to be honest. I think that a lot of you are done. And this is just helping you free yourself. 
end this cycle, cut the cord. I don't know exactly what it is. Again, it doesn't have to be about your kids. It doesn't have to be about family or love. It could be a boss. It could be something that happened with a landlord, whatever it is. There could have been someone that did not understand you. They didn't get where, you, where you're coming from. You trying to help them, you trying to support them. It was like they felt scared. And maybe this person has issues with authority. And the fact that you are confident and you are honest uh, and bold. And, you know, maybe that was very uncomfortable for them. Three of Swords is here. Nine of Pentacles and the Hangman. Such an interesting reading. So the Three of Swords coming up to time. I know there's an act of bravery on your side and on another person's side also, it seems like. It's going to take a lot of courage for you to finally uh, address the situation, maybe open up. Maybe it's going to be uncomfortable. You could experience an inner battle. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to hear what they have to say because they never heard me. So why would I even bother? There's going to be an inner conflict here happening, but... Through inner conflict, through uncomfortable energy, we grow. And this is what you're doing. You're growing. You are growing and the seeds that you planted are also growing. And with the Nine of Pentacles, this is just such a good way to visually see what it feels like. You've been working hard on yourself, Capricorn. Whatever that means for you, whatever it looks like for each and every one of you. Even if the seeds you planted are very small. Even if hearing me say that there could be an apology or a conversation. If that makes you feel uncomfortable and like, I don't want this. I feel that's totally normal. Your feelings are valid. And I think that you created a very comfortable life, secure life for yourself. In a, in a way you're kind of unattainable untouchable unbreakable it's like i worked so hard to get here i worked so hard to get comfortable in my body in my mind in my soul to find you know my chosen family to 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 build a home build uh, something for me that feels good that i'm comfortable in that i'm happy in i don't want to let just anyone from the past come up and just mess with that and I like it. I like it, Capricorn. I think that the important thing right now is to ask yourself, are you respecting your boundaries or are you creating walls around you? And you don't have to answer this right now. Maybe this question makes no sense to you, but I still wanted to ask it. What you're feeling and if you're feeling very contracted, you don't want to hear from them again, all of that. Is, is that your boundaries that you're embodying? Or are you building walls around you because you don't want to get hurt again? Because I can guarantee you that there is a conversation that the day it happens, your whole life change. The heart will heal. And I know you're in the process of healing. I've been seeing that for two years for you guys. The journey of Capricorn, especially on my channel with the readings I've done and the Capricorns I have in my life, you guys went through the biggest transformation. So people trying to come back from the past, they don't even fit with you. They don't even know who you are anymore. So why would you open yourself up to them? Again, there's this inner conflict. I think that you could get the answers that you need. It might not be what you want to hear. It might not be how you want it to happen. But it's something that you need to properly heal and to move on completely with your life without building walls around yourself. And with the hangman... You know, this to me is the rebel of the tarot. It's also connected to Pisces. So we're talking about the last sign on the zodiacal wheel, sorry. An ending. What are you complete with? 
especially the things that made you feel uncomfortable, the things or the people, the situation that made you feel stuck energetically, emotionally. What are you complete with? Because I do sense another person's energy. And I'm going to be honest, for a lot of you, it's not just one person. It could be a group of people, family, co-workers, friend. Uh, I think that someone owes you an apology. And this is something I've been sensing for a very long time. I think that this apology has been kind of rescheduled a bunch of time postpone a bunch of time because of the universe because of other people I don't know exactly but a lot of mystery it's a very mysterious energy but what I know is that it sets you free in a way let's pick more cards can I get more clarity on this very mysterious energy can I get more clarity here It's weird because I'm hearing you don't have to say yes. You don't have to listen. You don't have to open up. You don't owe them anything. You could still be pissed. You could still be very hurt about something that you thought you accepted. Or maybe you say, oh, I accepted that. I accepted that I'm never going to get the answers I deserve. I'm never going to get an apology from this person. I feel like you accepted something. Maybe your inner child, the younger part of you, this part of you from 10 years ago, 15 years ago, five years ago, that dealt with this painful situation, had their heart broken. This part of you is still in there. And they need answers. They want an apology. They want to make things right. Because you might be doing okay, but there's this part inside you. And I think that's why all the page are coming up. Either your inner child or, again, this younger part of yourself. That deserves clarity. And I don't know why I'm sensing that. It feels like you owe it to this part of yourself. You owe it to the younger Part of you, whatever that means for you, I think it's important. The moon, the king of cups, and the seven of swords. Am I surprised to see the moon? I don't know. I was waiting for this card to show up because I keep saying, I don't know. I don't know. And when I say that a lot in readings, I know that there's just a lot that we need to surrender to. That the more I'm trying to pick cards and get a clear answer, the more mystery comes through and I ask for clarity and the moon showed up so there's a lot that you don't know there's a lot that is still in the process of getting ready energetically there's someone who's definitely trying to stepping in their, their power leave their ego you know behind and not be in their head too much about communicating with you what I'm sensing is that this person is a little scared of you. And if I was in this person's shoes, I would be scared also because they did not treat you right. And you did not deserve any, any of this freaking BS that they put you through. There's two three of swords on top of each other here. This is not someone who hurt you one time. It's like time and time again. And instead of dwelling and hating and wishing them pain and, and struggle, you moved on with your life and you got to the king level. I don't know if they are still, again, very immature, stuck in the same level energetically. I sensed that earlier in the reading. Uh there's a lot of regret. And again, this person is very, very stuck in the ego. So the reason why they want to communicate with you, they want to make amends, they want to say sorry, I think it comes from a place of ego. And intuitively, I think that you will notice that. It is not my job, and I'm talking for you here, Capricorn. 
It is not my job to make you feel better after you hurting me. I moved on with my life. I am standing in king energy, even on the days where I don't feel like that at all. I am focusing on myself and I'm releasing this thing. Getting the answers or not. I'm releasing you. I'm releasing the pain, releasing the heartbreak. It is not mine to hold anymore. So you could be working very much with your inner child or again, this younger part of you. And if you don't want to hear what this other person have to say, if you don't want to revisit this past energy, which I totally understand, this is the change of direction I'm sensing in judgment card. You saying, you know what? I don't even need this apology. I know I deserve it. I don't need it to move on. I am complete with waiting for you to say sorry, with waiting for this external thing to make me feel complete, to make me feel like I'm, I'm finally unstuck, that I finally can move on with my life. You know what? I'm going to reclaim my power and move on regardless of you coming through or not. Because what I'm sensing here is definitely someone who is trying to find the right words, someone who wants to write to you, reach out. But with the moon card and the page of wands, especially, it's like the rhythm of this person, their timing. They waited so long. They're still going to wait. They're still going to make you wait. So the big transformation that's happening here with you is not needing this person's apology anymore. Again, you deserve it and you know that and nothing is going to take that away. Knowing you're right and what would be fair here. But life is not fair and you know that better than anyone else, Capricorn. So standing in your power here really means being complete, I feel, with this thing, with needing something. And by releasing that, by being complete with something, what's, what's happening? We are making space for new energy. New love, new relationship, a new job. Whatever, whatever seed you've been planting or waiting to plant. Especially if you've been caught in this energy of, I would be so happy if this person would finally say it. sorry, would finally come through. I would feel complete. I would feel healed. I would feel whatever. You don't need anything external to be complete. You are whole. You are good enough. You are more than good enough without this person. It's very interesting how this reading takes a turn here because this is, is really about you reclaiming your power. I'm not going to let you take my power away from me. I know what I deserve, I know who I am, and I know that I am complete with this. So this could be about grieving also, you know, grieving a time, an era in your life, a relationship, something that was very painful. I don't think this person is ready. I, I do feel like they are growing a little, but it's... It feels like the two of you are almost opposites in some way. Not aligned with your values at all. And again, this person is ruled by the ego. So what does it mean for you? Please, Capricorn, if you are still watching, if you connected with this reading, I invite you to write in the comments if you're comfortable. What does it mean for you? Are you complete with something? Are you ready to say, you know what, I might never get this thing and I'm okay with it. It hurts and yeah, it might be painful. But I don't need anyone or anything to make me feel complete. I am strong enough. I am good enough. A lot of inner work, Capricorn. And all of this work, all of this progress is going to pay off. A personal issue reaches, reaches resolution. 
listen, the moonology, uh, the moonology oracle is always surprising me because it, it really feels uh, like it complements the reading I do so beautifully. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. We're talking about the crab here. We're talking about letting go of wanting to have this hard shell. Wanting to just, again, build walls around us. I don't need to build walls. I am strong enough. I don't need to hide. I don't need to run. And it's definitely, again, not your job to save this person or to make them feel more comfortable or make them feel good because they've been carrying pain and anxiety because of what they did to you. I don't think it's your job to save them. Even if a part of you uh, feels bad maybe for this person sometimes. This is very personal to you, very tender, very close to your heart. Most people might not understand what you're experiencing. This is a very sensitive topic, it seems like, for you. Let me pick another moon card. And Capricorn, you're still pushing through. And when you get to the top of the mountain, my beautiful mountain goat, the Ace of Pentacles is waiting for you. And I don't know what it is. But it seems like it's a new blessing. And you're ready to receive it. And you are ready to build something out of this. Your dreams need a practical plan. Taurus energy. Prosperity lies ahead. Abundance lies ahead. Your dreams need a practical plan. Being very mindful of how you plan your day, how you start your day, how you take care of yourself. This is a Venus ruled energy. So we're not only talking about beauty and love, we're also talking about values. And I think, again, when I'm, I'm feeling this other person's energy, their values is just not aligned with who you are now. And that's okay. It's okay to be complete with someone. It's okay. And I think that the moment you stop blaming yourself or, again, you really accept that you don't need this person and what they have to offer to be complete, something is, is completely shifting. Your perspective is shifting, but also you're opening yourself to receive this fabulous Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to, I don't do this usually, but I, I want to pick... I just want to pick one or two cards to clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Can you give me just a little bit of insight for Capricorn, what this Ace of Pentacles could be like? What it feels like, what it looks like, what is it? What is it? Nine of Cups, something that you hoped for, something that you dreamed of, that you manifested. Again, all the roads of the cups, all the heartbreaks and finding self-love and opening yourself and working with your boundaries, all of that. It, it's leading you to this Ace of Pentacles and we also have the Page of Wands. It could be, and I have 33, 33 on the clock as I'm saying this. So this could definitely be connected to something creative. You creating something out of just an idea wishing for something i invite you to make a wish if you watch this reading till, till the end make a wish you can light up a candle you can blow a candle we are still very much in the new moon in pisces energy right now it, it's taking place for for a long time so Make a wish, light up a candle and dream big, manifest something. This is what I want. This is what I want to create. This is what I want to build. I deserve it and I am claiming this energy. Capricorn, if you love the way I read tarot, you already know you can join me on Patreon. I teach tarot cards there. I do extra readings. I hope you can join us. Um and be part of the community of the Bird of Venus Tarot. If not, you're amazing also. And I'm very happy to be here with you. Take care of yourself. Let me know in the comments if you connected with this reading. 
and I'll talk to you guys next week for your March reading. Bye Capricorn.